Guten Morgen. Nicholas Cox here. Having my late morning pipe in the Rossi Bent Rubino. With some Rat Ray's Old Gallery. Mm. Love the blend. Love it. One must thoroughly dry out Rat Ray's tobacco, especially if it's relatively fresh. But boy, what a pleasure to sit here, or stand here and sip. Walter says hello. Good old putt putt. Are you excited? Say hello. <laughs> hello. Say hello. Anyway. Yeah, I just got back from physical therapy. Sore as crap. <laughs> oh, back surgeries are no fun. You gotta learn to walk again. The more I walk, the number I get. Mm. But it's improving. <laughs> I just figured I'd come out here and make a, a little video. It's a slightly breezy 45 degree day. It's supposed to drop down to the 30s and get snow and all that, which I'm not too thrilled about, but hey, it's the time of the season, right? Yep. Yeah. Big news about uh, McClellan, huh? Kind of glad that I got my Frogmorton Cellar and a few tins of 40th Anniversary Flake. When I did, I didn't even know anything about the future of the company at that point. I just loved the blends. But as Derek Tant said, you know, there's there's other blends. Come on in. There's other blends out there that are very delicious and you know as a fairly new pipe smoker, hobbyist, enthusiast, whatever you want to call it. You know, I kind of got a little bit freaked out when I heard about all these wonderful companies like McClellan and, and uh, Dunhill closing up shop. But, you know, it's happened before for some of those a couple times. But we just keep looking for the wonderful blends, and there's many of them out there. I'm definitely going to be investigating more Rat Rays blends. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good sipping blends. Yeah. I know Max Wolf just tried some Rat Rays. which one escapes me at the moment, but I think he found that the drying time is definitely necessary. <laughs> A good couple hours, and then it's just an amazing, amazing tobacco. Great tin note. Yeah, so I'm just kind of sitting out here some birds in the bird houses that I built. They're looking pretty rough. I can't see what you see, so hopefully if I move the camera around enough, you'll you'll see them. They're all full. If 
full of nests. I get a kick out of watching those finches and all kinds of birds there. They jabber at each other, fly away. <laughs> They're quite comical, I think. So yeah, looking forward to camping and all kinds of neat stuff when the weather's getting nicer in the future here. Go camping, smoke a pipe, have a beer, cook some steak, all that sort of thing. I'm looking to get rid of cabin fever in a hurry. <laughs> I'm going to be camping and do my best to go hiking and all that stuff. Just get out of the house. Kick the shoes off, feel the earth on my feet. Just sounds delightful to me. Something to look forward to. And I can think about all the ways that I can do things this year, what I want to do. As I sit here and finish my pipe. Yeah, so there it is, just a few random thoughts. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you later. Hasta la bye-bye.